tuning in to In The Know. Today I'm going to share with you a health and beauty secret. Well, I guess it really isn't a secret because I found it online. About five years ago, uh, for some unknown reason, my eyes, when I wake up in the morning, would be puffy, swollen, itchy, and I couldn't figure out what it was. So of course, what do you do? You go to YouTube, you look online, and you try to find out what you can do to stop this because it just does not look very well on the camera. And I really, really noticed it during an interview that I did with an amazing singer by the name of Vanessa Cherry. So, for the last five years, this is what I've been doing. I've been using ice. I've been using a t uh, potato. They say cut a slices of potato, put it on your eyes, but I took it even a step further. I took the potato and I put it in the freezer and then I would put it on my eyes because this way, ice, potato, frozen, you get what I mean. That didn't work. Then I read that you can use tea bags and put those on your eyes. That didn't work. Um, then I read that maybe I wasn't getting enough sleep. Now I admit that when I'm working on something, next thing I know, it could, the sun could be rising. So I said, okay, I need to start getting eight hours sleep again. So I did that. That didn't work. Then I got um, uh, some eye covers, so I used those. That didn't work either. Then I also got those, those masks that you freeze and put those on your eyes. That didn't work. Let me see. I got the sleep, the potatoes, the ice, the tea bags. Oh, and then it said that it could be caused from eating too much salt. So what did I do? I First, I cut the salt intake down to half. Then I practically cut the salt out of my diet altogether. Still, I would wake up with puffy eyes. I didn't understand it. I, I got to admit, I cried a lot, but that only made it worse. But the other day, I was desperate. Because after I saw the way that I looked on that interview with Vanessa, I said, maybe I need to go back online. Maybe there's something that is new. So I came across where it says if you elevate your body, you know how they have those beds where you, well, they sell them now, but normally you're in the hospital when you can lift it up in the back. And so I said, okay, I feel kind of stupid, but I said, you know, what the heck? I've tried everything else. Why not try this? So when I went to bed, I got all my pillows. I propped them up. I slept almost like this in the bed, and the next morning, I have to admit, I probably only got maybe six hours sleep because I like to sleep on my stomach, so it was not a usual position for me all of a sudden after all these years, and there's been a lot of them, that I'm trying to sleep on my back and then almost sitting up, but believe it or not, when I got up in the morning, I still put my eye covers on. My eyes, my eyes are still puffy now, but it is like three-fourths less puffy than it normally is. And this is day two. And I have this mirror. From here, we can see where my eye is here. I mean, from here all the way over to here, my eye would be, I mean, lift up. It would be so puffy. But for some reason, sitting up, in the bed to sleep, and I've been doing, like I said, two nights in a row, is working. I don't know why it's working, but if you're like me, desperate, and I mean 100, 1,000% desperate to try to figure out what you can do to stop the puffiness under your eyes, I would suggest that you at least try it for a couple of days. I saw results the very next morning. And believe me, I will be sitting propped up for sleep for the rest of my life. Because as I get older, it seems that from what I read, the hormones in your body are changing. Um, and your my body, for some reason, is retaining water. And that retaining water is what is causing the puffiness. And I guess from laying flat, the, the I'm guessing now that the water is in my face or whatever, the blood vessels or whatever, but from sleeping up, the, I, I'm assuming the water can't travel upwards, but 
I don't care what the reason is. I'm just here today to tell you it works. It's still working. This is day two. I cannot believe that today I do put on makeup. And when I do put the makeup on, I normally put a lot of concealer underneath my eyes. And today I didn't. And I can't believe it. Now there is the mark here, and I think that is, I'm going to probably have to use some type of uh, bleaching cream because the potatoes and the tea bags and all that other stuff doesn't get rid of it for me. So I'm going to continue to try that, and once I remove that, then, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to start crying again, but I can't believe that something as simple as sitting up in the bed is helping me to get rid of these, my puffy eyes. So, I hope you find this information useful, and I'm so very happy that I was able to share it with you, because if you have experienced what I have been experiencing, puffy eyes will age you 10 years, 15 years, and I saw that in the interview that I did, and I feel so bad that my appearance did not represent this young lady's beautiful voice, so at this time I am gonna ask her to please for, forgive me I should have checked online a little bit faster. But anyway, this is In The Know, your health and beauty tip from Miss Berger. Ciao, ciao. Well, what's come up for me?